Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I believe we're on episode 150 today and we're actually going to change things up slightly. Instead of doing a contributed module from Drupal, we're going to look at the core Drupal module image. Um, like I said, this does come standard with any Drupal 7 installation. Um, you can enable and disable it, which we'll get to. But before that, uh, let's uh, do our usual plugs here. Um, first of all, uh, definitely check out CodeKarate.com. And once you get there, obviously look at all the content we've been posting. But also check out the Code Karate newsletter. Make sure you sign up there. Um, and as promised, we will be sending out um, the five secrets to becoming a Drupal 7 Ninja. Expect that soon, probably as soon as next week. So um, look forward to that. Um, also, you can follow us on our newly created Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash code karate. Um, pretty new here. Kind of the goal of that is really just to uh, syndicate our content over to Facebook. Uh, a lot of people are over there sharing it, so we just want to be there and make sure that you can easily... Um, get updates on what's going on and new posts and stuff like that. And as always, you can follow me at Adam Laring on Twitter, or you can follow Shane at smthomas3. So go ahead and connect with us any way you can. We appreciate anything. All right, so back to the point of the video. Um, like I said, today we're going to be covering the image uh, module, which comes with Drupal Core. Um, once you install Drupal, it's going to be installed automatically, so no need to turn it on. Obviously, you could turn it off. Um, really don't see a point to doing that, but um, you could if you didn't want as much uh, bloat going on there. So once it's enabled, uh, that will allow you to be, add a field on your content type. Uh, and obviously, hopefully you know what a content type is, but content type is how you display different content throughout your site. Um, right now, I just have a basic page. Uh, again, comes standard with Drupal Core. So once you're there, you can add a new field. So right now, we're just going to add a field for banner. And in the field types, you can select image there. And that's what's using that image module. And then go ahead and save that. And what that will allow us to do is that will add a field on our basic page content type that will allow us to add an image on our posts. So for example, just to show you, if I go here to add content, I add, I'm going to add a basic page you'll be able to see that I can upload my banner um, image field that I just saved. But the problem is, is that um, if I went out and had a nice big image, say from Google, um, I might want to have to resize that so all my images look consistent. And that's where the power of the image styles comes into play. So to get to the um, image styles, you just go under configuration, and then underneath the media section here there's a link for image styles uh, by default Drupal gives you three different ones um, 100 by 100, 220 by 220 and uh, 480 by 480 and what that will do is um, resize those images to those appropriate sizes um, for this video we'll make our own so let's add a style I typically like to just put the configuration um, size in as the name so I will do um, 150 by 150 I'm going to create the style, and as you can see in this example here, um, it's going to preview how it's going to crop and style our image. So we need to add an effect, a bunch of different effects you can use here. Obviously, you can crop. Uh, you know, you guys can read here, but desaturate. But the one most commonly used is scale. So we're going to select that one. We're going to add it, and then we can here specify the width and the height we would like the image to be scaled down to. Now it's important to note if you read the description above here that if you only enter in one field, what um, image styles does is it will uh, either upscale or downscale till it hits one of those barriers. So for example, I'm going to select a width of 150. So and I'm going to leave the height blank. So what that means is any image that um, is either bigger or smaller, it's going to resize until it hits a width of 150, regardless of what the height is. So if I add this effect, you can see here on our preview image that we had an 800 width, 600 height picture. Using our scale to 150, it now drops it down until it hits the 150 width, and then it just keeps the height value at what it was at 113. This is a nice little thing to keep all your pictures in proportion. 
Um, so you can also do a few other effects if you want. Um, you could do scale and crop, which basically will tr trim your image. Uh, use that tentatively, of course, as the uh, image will not necessarily look exactly like it was when it was full size. So anyway, we're going to keep that as our one style. So scale that to 150. And then I'm going to jump out here to Google real quick and find a, you know, a funny picture, a big picture that I can use for this example. Use this guy here. He seems to be cute. So you can see here by default, it's 1024 by 780 or 768. Excuse me. So if I'm going to look at this image, save it. And then if I go back to my Create Basic page here, let's give this a refresh. I'm going to add this image. All right, so there he goes. He's going to be added. Oops. Save it. All right, there's a cute little bunny there. But the problem is, you see, is this still, this is not obviously 150 by 150 image style that I'm using. And the reason is, is I didn't associate that image style with this field yet. So to do that, pretty simple. All you do is you go back to your um, content type for basic page and get to that field. So we want to manage fields here, and there's a banner there. So we can, from there, jump to the manage display. And then you see right here it says it's using the original image as the size. Well, we obviously don't want to do that. We want to use our 150 by 150. So if we select that image style there, you see that changed. And then, oops, I jumped the wrong page there, but switch back to our bunny. You see that didn't work exactly. I think I have to resave my content. Still not working. Interesting. Double check something here. Oops. Interesting. Apparently it didn't save. Um try this again. Save that. I don't think I actually did save it now that I'm thinking of it. Um so that was my fault. I didn't actually save it, which is very important to uh, do. So anyway, let's try this one more time. There we go. Now he's a little smaller. So anyway, um, obviously that was a little bit of a hiccup there, but just make sure that when you do switch your image style, which again, I'll do it here. So if I switched it to large update, um, I just did not save the content type. So make sure you click that save button there. And now our bunny will be what 480 by 480. So if I refresh, now he's got a little bigger. So anyway, that's how that works. So sorry about that. But um, really simple module. Obviously, this works really well with views as well. Um, we're not going to cover in the video just for the time issue. But um, you can use this when you're displaying many different types of a content and you want all your images to be the same size. It really helps keep it clean. It's nice for the design. Uh, a lot of other added benefits as well. So anyway, guys, uh, it's always important, again, to look at some of the core modules. You kind of might breeze over. Uh, I know it's simple, but very useful. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching the video. Again, make sure to um, interact with us any way you can. Um, either that's signing up on our newsletter, following us on Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of fun stuff. All right, until next time, guys, take care.